There are several ways to go about making your posts stand out. In fact, by doing so, it is very important because you're trying to impress your viewers. You're not necessarily trying to impress the search engines. Most people make the mistake of creating keyword rich posts that really don't make a lot of sense to the viewer, but they make sense to a search engine because the search engine can measure the keyword density and things like that. That's not what you're aiming at here. You're aiming at creating posts for your viewers and your viewers alone because they are the people that are going to be coming to your website. Here's a quick list of things you can do to make your posts stand out. You can add photos. We'll go over using SEO keywords in your posts, which is important for search engine optimization, but you want to do it correctly. Using PLR articles, but most importantly, adding your own experience as the expert is important. Because you don't want to use all those PLR articles out there and be the same person out of the thousands of people who are using them. You want to make them unique. That's the keyword, unique. We'll start by going to the dashboard and writing a post. So you can either go to write, write a new post, or the normal way is just go to click on write. And write post will be the first thing that you see. The title of your post or your first post is quite important. You need to include keywords that relate to that specific post. So think about this like an article. Each article has a good title that somebody will be searching for. So your title could include a keyword phrase that somebody is searching for. You'll notice that normally most posts or most searches that people do start with how to. How to do this, how to do that. So in this case we'll call how to build muscle now, that's a pretty broad keyword phrase because if you do a search on Google, you're most likely going to find a lot of people who are teaching others how to build muscle. Now, you want to get a focus group, so you want to get more specific. If I'm writing this article on how to build muscle for skinny guys, then that might be a little more appealing because I'm focusing on a group of people. And that's what we call a niche. So your keyword phrase would be build muscle for skinny guys. So you also want to include that into your article right below. So keep that in mind or feel free to just copy that into your clipboard. So I'll go ahead and write this article here and fast forward a little bit and I'll keep in mind that I want to include the keywords skinny guys and building muscle or skinny girls who want to build muscle. So I've started out my article with a question because a question is always great because it asks the user, it engages the user. It says, uh, do you find it hard to gain muscle mass uh, for skinny guys or skinny girls with high metabolism? Building muscle mass is not easy without correct guidance. Then you can say something like, let me show you how I... And I changed it around a little bit just to make it more interesting, just to show my credibility here. I said uh, I was like you, but I found the correct guidance under a former bodybuilder. And then I go ahead and say, let me show you how to, I gain blah, blah, blah. And in this event, I can use it to build my list and sell other affiliate products. Now, I like to use words like, okay, so let's go to the next thing. Those allow you to speak directly to the reader because a lot of times articles are too formal and because of that they get too boring. So uh, you can even write it like you're talking in a conversation because when you do that, even with email marketing and things like that, you make it more interesting. Great, so now that I have the most important part done, which is the article, you may want to go through it and highlight anything like do you want this? You can italicize that. Uh, just make it user friendly. 
So what I've done here is I've created an article and add my own experience. I didn't use a PLR article, but you can if you want and tweak it around. And so you, you want to make it interesting. Remember, make a question, uh, show your credibility, even show. I said, let me show you how I gained blah, blah, blah. Then I show people what problems that they're facing and a solution at the end. And then at the end, I, I said, I read an ebook that helped me find the right guidance so that you don't have to explain everything. So this allows me to build a credibility. I can include a link, an affiliate link, to a certain product that I've used. Or you can link to another blog post. Or um, The next thing you want to do is add tags. So I could do stuff like build muscle. Add. So that way I can increase my reach to anybody who's skinny who wants to build muscle mass. So that's that. I'm going to show you where you can find royalty free images. There are several sites. What you want to do is do a search in Google for royalty free images. There are several sites that I use. I use iStockphoto.com and I also use BigStockphoto.com site called StockExpert.com which is a great place to go. If you're wondering what royalty free images are, you don't know what they are, basically you purchase the images so that you can use them in your blogs. And for example, photographers or graphic designers will put their images up there and they'll be paid a fee. So what you do is you pay anywhere from a dollar to three dollars per image so that you can use in your internet business. So check those out, stockexpert.com, bigstockphoto.com, and istockphoto.com, or do a Google search. So once you have your images in hand, uh, let's say that I want to input an image right here. What I could do is click on this image link here, and add the image. Now in this situation you need to upload the image to a certain location on your site. So I'd highly recommend you put it in the vid test folder somewhere here. So you can even put it in the vid test folder here and then link to that site which would be stevenluke.com slash vid test slash whatever picture that you include would include right there. And then you want to include the description and that's all you need. Click on insert and that's it. You don't need to worry about the other information unless you're trying to resize your photo. And last but not least, I'd highly recommend that you copy this into your clipboard and then save it just in case something happens. So what I'll do is click on save over here. And when you want to publish the post, which basically means you want to put it onto your website, then click on publish. So earlier you could have just clicked on publish. And there we go. We, we have a blog on how to build muscle mass for skinny guys. And I actually changed the blog just now, the, uh, the title, so it would fit that. So there we go. We added photos. Uh, how frequently you post depends on you. You can do two to three times a week, once a week, uh, as long as it's frequent. And you, we used SEO keywords, build muscle for skinny guys, and we didn't use PLR articles, but you can, but make sure you make them unique.